All right, so taking a look here at Worksheet 4.2, our whole goal with integration is to be able to find the area under the curve. That's what integration finds. So if I find the integral from 0 to 2 of this function, radical x plus 1, I'm finding all this area in here. So this one, this worksheet saying use upper and lower sums to estimate the area of the region bounded by the function y equals radical x plus 1, the x-axis, which is here, and the line x equals 2, and also it should say x equals 0. Let's add that in. All right, so use pen to draw four rectangles to represent the upper sum. Now, here's the key, guys. It says use um, pen to draw four rectangles. So in between 0 and 2, I have to get in four rectangles. What is that going to make the width of the rectangles? 0.5, good. I am also supposed to use upper sums. So I'm going to look at my first width here and here. I'm supposed to use upper sums. If I were using lower sums, I would use the lower of the two points. But because I'm using upper sums, I have to use this higher point, and I have to draw a rectangle. That would be my first area that I would look at. Now coming to my next one, I'm still using this interval of 0.5. I look at my first point and my second point. To find the upper sum, I have to use the higher point, so I'm looking at this rectangle. On the next one, we're using this point and this point. Using the upper one, we're using that one. Same thing, use the higher one. And so this will be a representation of the area using upper sums. So we're going to find this area, and this one, and this one, and this one. And we're going to add them all up. So they're kind of leading us through it. What is the width of each rectangle? Well, it's 0.5. Now it's asking us, what is the height when x is 0.5? Well, I can't just look at this and find that out. I have to plug 0.5 into the function. So I'm going to go to my calculator, and I'm going to plug 0.5 into my function. So it's the square root of 0.5 plus 1. That gives me 1.7. So there's my height there. Then what is the height when x is 1? Well, I can just plug that in. Square root of 1 is 1 plus 1 is 2. 1.5. I don't know the square root of 1.5. Square root of 1.5 is that plus 1 is 2.2. 2. I don't know the square root of 2. I mean, I know the approximation, but let's just use the calculator. Square root of 2 is that plus 1, 2.4. All right, so there are all the heights we're going to be using. So now it says to compute the area using the upper sum. Well, if I know this width here is 0.5, to find the area of this rectangle, I would have to do that the area is going to be 0.5 times 1.7 plus my next area. Well, this is another width of 0.5 times the height. The height is 2 plus my next one. I have a width of 0.5. And we have a height, again, of 2.2. We just found that. Plus 0.5. And then I have a height of 2.4. So to find this area, I'm really doing a summation. What I'm really doing is, what can I factor out of each one of these? 0.5. So this is really the sum as x. Uh, actually, I'm pulling out a 0.5 first. So we'd have a 0.5 out in front. And then this is just the values that I get as I plug in x equals 0.5. x equals Remember the values we plugged in? 0 0.5, then 1, then 1 1.5, and then 2. So these are the values as x goes from 0 0.5 to 2 by 0 0.5 increments. 
That's the way I could write it, okay? Now that's kind of difficult to put into the calculator. So here's the way I'm going to put it in. It's 0.5 times 1.7 plus 2 plus 2.2 plus 2.4. That's a faster way to type it in. So 0.5 times 1.7 plus 2 plus 2.2 plus 2.4. And 4.15. So my upper sum is equal to 4.15. And that's an overestimate of the area. Okay? And so then it says use pencil. I'm not going to do this one for you. You'll do this on your own. But use pencil to draw the four rec rectangles to represent the lower sum. And I'll just show you what your first rectangle would be because a lot of people mess this up. If I'm doing a lower sum, guys, I look at my function, and if I'm doing the lower sum, I have to do the lower of the two points. So the first rectangle would be this in pencil right there. And then I'll let you figure out the rest of them. Okay? So all you have to do today is both sides of the worksheet. Notice on this one, um, you're going just from 0 to 4. And here you're letting your width be 1, so this will be easier.